Making decisions is an important management function. Management's decision-making process does not always follow a set pattern because decisions vary significantly in their scope, urgency, and importance. It is possible, though, to identify some steps that are frequently involved in the decision process. Accounting's contribution to the decision-making process occurs primarily in steps two and four, evaluating possible courses of action and reviewing the results. In step two, for each possible course of action, relevant revenue and cost data are provided. These show the expected overall effect on net income. In step four, internal reports are prepared that review the actual impact of the decision. In making business decisions, management ordinarily considers both financial and non-financial information. Financial information is related to revenue and cost and their effect on the company's overall profitability. Non-financial information relates to such factors as the effect of the decision on employee turnover, the environment, or the overall image of the company in the community. Although non-financial information can be as important as financial information, we will focus primarily on financial information that is relevant to the decision. Decisions involve a choice among alternative courses of action. For example, suppose a company must decide on whether to purchase or lease a car. Leasing involves periodic lease payments, whereas purchasing requires upfront payment of the purchase price. The financial information relevant to the decision are the data that vary in the future among the possible alternatives. This process used to identify the financial data that change under the alternative courses of action is called incremental analysis. In some cases, you will find that when you use incremental analysis, both cost and revenue vary. In other cases, only cost or revenues vary. The basic approach in incremental analysis is illustrated in this example, which compares alternative B with alternative A. The net income column shows the difference between the alternatives. In this case, incremental revenue will be $15,000 less under alternative B than alternative A. But a $20,000 incremental cost savings will be realized. Thus, Alternative B will produce $5,000 more net income than Alternative A. Before we begin discussing how we use incremental analysis in a variety of business situations, we need to discuss three important concepts. The first important concept is relevant cost. In incremental analysis, the only factors to be considered are those cost and revenues that differ across alternatives. Those factors are called relevant cost. Cost and revenues that do not differ across alternatives are ignored when choosing between alternatives. Another important concept is opportunity cost. Often in choosing one course of action, the company must give up the opportunity to benefit from some other course of action. For example, if a machine is used to make one type of product, the benefit of making another type of product with that machine is lost. This lost benefit is referred to as opportunity cost. A personal example would be if you were considering giving up a high paying summer job to travel overseas, the foregone, <clears throat> the foregone wages would be an opportunity cost of traveling abroad. These costs are relevant in making decisions. The last important concept is a sunk cost. Costs that have already been incurred and will not be changed or avoided by any present or future decisions are referred to as sunk cost. Suppose a company purchased a car for $25,000. The amount paid for the car is a sunk cost because it has already been incurred and the transaction cannot be undone. Even though it is perhaps counterintuitive, 
the amount the company paid for the car is irrelevant in making decisions such as whether to keep, sell, or replace the car. The amount you spent in the past to purchase or repair the car should have no bearing on your decision whether to buy a new car. Some costs are always the same no matter what alternatives are being considered. They are not relevant costs. A number of different types of decisions involve incremental analysis. We will discuss these five common types of decisions. Incremental analysis helps managers choose the alternative that maximizes net income. When we are looking at these decisions, we are going to focus on relevant cost and revenue. In this chapter or the next videos, we focus primarily on the quantitative factors that affect a decision, those attributes that can be easily expressed in terms of numbers or dollars. However, many of the decisions involving incremental analysis have important qualitative features. Though not easily measured, they should not be ignored.